Let me ask you a question. Do you actually know the difference between all of these microphones? If you're just getting into audio, whether it be for podcast recording, content creation, or music production, you need an affordable and reliable microphone. Because without good audio, you are screwed. My name is Sam Weimer, and I'm a certified audio engineer with real recording studio experience, and I'm here today to help you better understand your microphone needs. In today's video, I'm gonna cover everything you need to know about microphones in just four simple steps. Now, each step is equally important, so make sure you stick around for the entire video. And I'll link any product I talk about in today's video in the description down below. So let's take a look at understanding step one. So there are three main types of microphones, dynamic, condenser, and ribbon microphones. But for today's purposes, we're gonna skip over ribbon mics. Every microphone you saw at the beginning of this video was either a condenser or a dynamic mic. Now, dynamic and condenser microphones actually operate differently. They have different mechanisms built on the inside. So naturally, they're used for different scenarios. Dynamic mics have a coil on the inside that moves based on changing sound pressure, while condenser mics have a small membrane stretched across the plate. But what's the main difference between the two mechanisms? Well, dynamic mics are super reliable and rugged. Microphones like the Shure SM57 and the Shure SM7B are great examples and are incredible options. These microphones have incredible sound rejection from the back, which gives you an advantage if you're recording in a noisy environment. They also have a bass presence feature, which means the closer you get to the microphone, the more bass will be present. This is why so many people opt to use this microphone for YouTube or podcast applications because it gives your voice that kind of booming presence. Now, condenser microphones tend to be a lot more sensitive than dynamic mics. They are really good for picking up a lot of fine detail, which is great if you have a nice recording environment. They also tend to be a little bit more fragile, so you kind of have to handle these guys with a little more care. Okay, so now you know the main difference between dynamic and condenser mics. Let's move on to step two. So what do you plan to use your microphone for? Are you making YouTube videos, recording songs from your bedroom, or are you the guy in the friend group that keeps saying, <laughs> we should start a podcast? Guys? Now, I can't claim that these guidelines are gonna work for everybody, but here are my general recommendations. Recording artist. If you're making beats in your bedroom or any room without soundproofing, get a dynamic mic. If you feel good about your sound treatment, then go for a condenser. YouTubers, get either a lapel mic with a receiver that can attach to your camera or a dynamic mic that can stay at your desk for local recording. And podcasters, just buy a Shure SM7B. You won't have to replace the mic. It's exactly what you're looking for. Just get the freaking microphone. Now, every microphone also has what is called a polar pattern. A polar pattern is simply just a graph showing where the microphone is more sensitive. Here are some of the most common patterns. The outline areas show where the sound will be picked up when recording. So it's always important to know what kind of polar pattern your microphone has so you're using it to the full extent of its capabilities. And this is always gonna be listed either on the Amazon product description or if you go to the supplier's website directly, you can find it listed there as well. Okay, now the first three steps were super important, but they are useless without step four. A nice microphone is truly an investment in yourself and in your future. It's a device that's close to magic and can capture your creativity to last a lifetime. My point is, Get a microphone of quality. Save up and get what you truly want and what you know is going to serve your creative purposes best. In the description down below, I'm gonna link to all my favorite dynamic and condenser mics at different price points to hopefully make your life a little bit easier. Now one final and very important thing is you're gonna need an audio interface to plug this microphone into your computer, which luckily I have a video on audio interfaces right here. Leave a like or comment down below if you found this video helpful, and until next time, peace.